Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, you guys. So the first card out is Hidden Motivations, okay? Um, the card number is no, number one and it's intention okay so be mindful of your motivations as to why you're doing certain things um, you want to make sure that your motivation behind you know whatever intentions you're putting out there um, are for all the right reasons okay so let's go see it says a, a smiling woman stands with her hands held over her heart center below is an image of children playing in front of a beautiful home a vision of her deepest desires Yet something is hidden behind the heavy drapes around her. On a purely practical level, this could indicate an important decision or situation that you don't have all the information about. Be patient. The knowledge will come and you will be able to act. However, this card can hold a more de deeply personal meaning too. Like this woman, you have like this woman, you have some high ideals and lofty lofty goals in mind, yet there are hidden thoughts and issues that are behind the image you present to the world. This card is telling you to look within for any unknown motivations that may be influencing your energy and your plans. Perhaps you're looking for love, yet because of past hurts, you shut down to protect yourself. Or you may want more money, yet you doubt yourself and expect to fail, or even think you don't deserve abundance. Know that your conflicting intentions even if they are all well hidden, are a powerful force in the manifestation of your dreams. The pull of emotional, excuse me, the pull of emotional history rides with those intentions, making them even stronger than the desires you have in mind. It's time to clear out those conflicting, limiting thoughts. This card reminds you the universe is abundant and you are deserving and capable of making your dreams come true. Okay, so, you know, I watch a lot of people who want to start new businesses yet they're afraid, you know, and it's like, okay, but what are you really afraid of? Are you afraid of actually being successful? Are you afraid of actually being in love? Are you afraid of, you know, it can be anything, you know, it depends on the person. So keep that in mind as you're moving forward and think about the motivation, you know, um, Think about why is it that you want a, a bigger home? Is it so that you can have more children maybe? You know, it could be any one of those things. So keep your motivations in check. Spirit, please show me May 20th. Spirit, please show me May 20th. And be mindful of other people's motivations as well. Okay? Because you never know. They might have a hidden intention as to why, you know, they're reaching out to you. So be mindful of that, all right, you guys? Spirit, please show me for May 20th for the collective. What messages, what guidance do we need to hear for May 20th? Spirit, please show me May 20th. May 20th, okay? Oh, the sun, happiness, success, good health, abundance. Um, you know, it's... It's the happiest card in the deck. I feel like, you know, people's abundance is really starting to come in. And the challenge being the Seven of Cups. So it's like, okay, maybe you have all these things that you're wanting to create. Or, you know, maybe it's a new business and you're like, okay, well, what do I really want to do? Then we have the Hermit at the bottom. Okay, what is this one? Ace of Cups, which is happiness. So... Really looking at what makes you happy, what makes your heart sing. Oh my God, you guys, seriously. We have the Empress, okay? The Empress is about fertility, abundance. So for some of you, it is about having children. You look at this woman here, right? And she's got the children in the background. So, and then we've got the Earth Mother here, and we've got the child here. So maybe for some of you, uh, you know... I'm just going to say it, be mindful of somebody like, you know, trying to get pregnant on purpose and maybe you don't want a child um, or vice versa. Somebody's wanting to get you pregnant and you're not wanting a child. So be mindful of the hidden motivations. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that, and we do have another child here, Will of Fortune, okay? The Wheel, well, all right, they're popping out. Nine of Pentacles. So money, wealth, and abundance, you know, having everything that you need, you know, lots of money in the bank, five of swords and your hopes and fears. 
Um, and one last card. Wow, six of wands, you guys. Victory and success. The bottom of the deck. We have the four of wands. Okay. Okay. So for some of you, you're looking for a home. Okay. Plain and simple. You're looking for a home. It was funny. I was going to say you guys have the eight of cups with the seven of cups and the eight of cups. And right underneath the four of wands is the eight of cups. So eight of cups is walking away from things that you've emotionally invested in, in order to go and find your happiness. For some of you, it's to go and find the two of cups. And the two of cups is about two people who see eye to eye. It's about a relationship. It could be any one of those things. So the four of wands is the overall energy. This could be about celebrations, happiness, success. Um, you guys, we've got happiness. We, you know, we've got two of the 1111s here. So you guys could be seeing 1111 today, or you guys would be seeing it constantly just repeating numbers. All right, which is going to show you that you're on the right track. Uh, for others of you, this is about marriage. So for some of you, you know, um, I feel like you guys are getting married and you guys are wanting to go into a um, uh, is starting a family. Okay. For a lot of you, it's about starting a family. Um, you know, this is the wheel of destiny turning in your guys's favor. What is down must come up and what is up must come down. So I do feel with all these cards here, for some of you, you're coming into a love relationship, uh, something to celebrate something, you know, I feel like a lot of excitement, you know, if you're looking for a home, I feel like this could definitely be where you find the home of your dreams. Maybe for some of you guys, you're moving into that new home today. Day, um, and you guys are ending a cycle where, you know, of your past, basically. Um, wow, all in all, I feel like, you know, if this is a new job for some of you, you could definitely be, you know, starting a new job today. You could be getting the phone call that you've been waiting for uh, because this could also be about your passions. I see a lot of love here. I see, you know, with the the, you know, we have the four of wands, we've got the page of wands, and then we also have the six of wands. So this is about passionate, um, you know, passionate new beginnings when it comes to your work. So for maybe for some of you, you know, you're, you're ending a cycle at your job and you're going to be starting a new cycle, you know, maybe next week. Okay. So you're finishing out your contract and you're going to be starting in and, you know, with all these major arcanas and stuff, you know, because you've got the hermit here, you've got the sun here and you've got the empress here. I feel like this could have a lot to do with, you know, taking a little bit longer. So I feel like it's already in the works. Um, you know, we do have Jupiter here as well, which is all about the wheel of fortune. Jupiter just moved into Pisces. So for some of you, you know, this is about your dreams coming true. You know, Jupiter and Pisces is saying if you dream it and you believe it, you can receive it. So keep that in mind. I definitely see marriage here. So somebody here could definitely be getting engaged. Uh, congratulations. Um, for others of you, somebody here could be asking you on a date, which takes you from being single to in a relationship. So here you are single and here you are um, in a relationship, and I just heard betrothed, okay? Um, and that talks about, you know, with the Eight of Cups walking into this newfound relationship. Um, you know, I, the letters W or M could be important. I am seeing the letters R, T, I, A, O, N, and L, okay? There we go, you guys. So that could be anywhere in your name, Uh, let's go. Let's see. So you've got two nines here with the hermit and the nine of pentacles. So the two nines tells me don't give up. You're right at the very end. I feel like, you know, when I look at the star inside of here, I feel like you are being guided. For others of you, you be, could be being guided towards a mentor, okay? Um, and maybe your mother is some type of a mentor when I'm looking at the empress and I'm looking at the hermit with the child in between. So maybe you are looking to your mother for some type of advice. For some of you, it could be a father. It could be a Virgo, Aries, Libra, Taurus. Um, those are the signs I'm seeing right now. This is abundance in all areas of your life, you guys. 
you know, when we have the Empress here, you know, she's fertile. So she's got everything that she needs. You know, I look at the Nine of Pentacles and I look at the Empress and it's almost like the, you know, the Minor Arcana. I feel like the Queen of Pentacles is also, you know, this lady right here, which could be an Earth sign as well. Uh, you know, I don't want to get too much into signs, but I think that in your hopes and fears, you know, you're hoping you can overcome any of the conflict maybe that you've got going on in your mind. Or this could have something to do with having to walk away from certain people who are naysayers as to what it is that you want to do. If it's, um, you know, if it's a fear, I feel like it's more of just a conflict in your own mind. We do have the Six of Wands, which is victory. This is where it's like public recognition. I do feel like for some of you people in your in the, your community are seeing like the hard work and dedication that you have put in and they see you, you know, it's like almost like they're having a parade for you. You know, they're cheering you on. They're ex excited for the successful outcome to your brand new beginnings. And if you don't have that, maybe you need to choose new friends okay so keep that in mind i want to see why the page of wands is here the two of pentacles the seven of pentacles and the star you guys we've got the star here and now we have the star here okay so this is about your hopes wishes and dreams coming true so for some of you you've been waiting on some type of communication and i feel like you've been like for some of you you've been juggling a couple of different things you've been waiting to see am i going to get my return on my investment and i feel like your wish is about ready to come true so i'm I'm going to say that, you know, this is also about the planetary alignment. We cannot speed that up. And I feel like, you know, you just kind of have to go with the flow. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've been in hermit mode, you know, you've been kind of frozen in time. And it's like, you guys, just so you know that this is getting ready to go into your past. I feel like, you know, there's opportunities in love here too, you guys. So for those of you who are single, um, I can see where there's, you know, I feel like just embodying love, you know, I see a masculine energy here as well as the feminine energy. I feel like with the Empress here, she knows her worth. She knows her value. Um, you know, she already has everything that she needs. And if you are bringing in this new masculine, I do feel like, you know, they are wanting these new beginnings with you. And I feel like somebody here is very smitten by you. Okay. Pay attention to the birds. I feel like the birds are definitely um, a, a big player today. Also, for some of you, you guys could get asked to go horseback riding. Wow, this is really beautiful. And I feel like, you know, someone here, like I said, you know, I feel like somebody here has hidden motivations towards you. And I think that, you know, be mindful that you're not blocking out love and you're not blocking out your, your abundance, you know, because you're afraid. And I think that that's with the five of swords, there could be fear here. So you've kept yourself out of relationships with the hermit here. For some of you, you've been single for a very long time. All right. So very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it can come to you now. I feel like it is coming to you. I feel like you just got to be in that place. For others of you, I feel like it's children that you're wanting. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. The Four of Wands here says that with the Ace of Cups and the Sun. The Sun, like I said, is the happiest card in the deck. I could have just stopped the freaking reading right there and said, hey, you know what? Today's a really happy day and you just need to embrace it. So separation, it is showing up in reverse, but it says time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And also pay attention to the red flags. The signs are caught you so again paying attention to the motivations of others paying attention to your own motivations like why are you keeping yourself away from a relationship why are you keeping yourself separated I feel like you know uh, when it talks about paying attention to the red flags you know it's like you know you want to be really mindful about you know not um, overthinking over analyzing the situation I feel like there's someone here that does want to grow old with you, but I do feel like you keep yourself out of relationships for fear of getting hurt again. Nine of Pentacles, Magician. Oh my God, Hierophant, Ace of Swords. <coughs> oh my God. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. Wow, I almost choked. Uh, nine of Pentacles 
is, you know, the single lady card. I have everything I need. I don't need anything else. You know, the only thing that I'm missing and get this is love, you know, for a lot of people, you know, I do a lot of readings on the daily. And the biggest concern that I have, you know, is I work with single men and single women. And I feel like, you know, um, <laughs> they're all wanting some type of commitment. So with the nine of pentacles, you are the magician. You are creating your own abundance. You're creating your own happiness. What you're creating too is a commitment. Okay. So for some of you, you know, if it goes back to you guys, you're signing agreements on a house, you've manifested a new home and you're getting the clarity that you need so that you can move in. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you know, if you are single, I do feel like you're manifesting someone in here who is wanting a relationship and to take you away or take you out. Out of being single so I think that you know you, you know I look at the curtain here you know around her and then I look at the curtain here around her and I feel like you know for some of you you keep yourself blocked off from love and it's like okay open yourself up oh my god you guys right underneath the pay attention to the red flags it says wedding so you know, for some of you, make sure that this person isn't already married because, you know, you want to be really mindful. And, you know, if this person has children, you know, don't fuck around, okay? You know, especially when there's children involved, you want to be really mindful about who you're putting yourself out there for and what it is that you're manifesting. Because I do see where she's pregnant. I see a child here. I see a child here. Um, and I feel like, you know, you really need to ask yourself, and of course I see children here as well. You know, if this person already has children and you don't have any intentions of, you know, going any further or being some type of a, a role model for these children, don't put yourself in this situation. Keep yourself out, in, you know, in separation, I guess. You know, and for some of you, maybe your children are trying to keep you out of a relationship and maybe that's something that you need to think about because your happiness is more important. You know, and if you really had children or anybody in your life who genuinely loves you, they're not going to try and keep you out of a relationship. So keep that in mind, you guys. Okay. But I mean, all in all, I'm seeing happiness, success. I'm seeing, um, you know, I'm seeing a lot of really beautiful things here. You guys, Spirit, please show me their love life for May 20th. Wow. Okay. So here it is. Playfulness like children. Okay. I can't even make this stuff up. Playfulness. It says, laughter is the best therapy, have some fun together, and remember, love is the greatest healer. So for some of you, you could also be hanging out with a new type of, you know, a new friend. Maybe you guys are making new friends and it's making you really happy. Maybe it makes you feel like a kid again. Or maybe this relationship also makes you feel like a kid again. So keep that in mind, you know, it, you know, just being playful. And like I said, you know, going horseback riding, going for a walk, going for a drive. You know, I do believe with the hermit here, it's trying to take you out of being single, um, you know, because you've been single for a really long time and you need to go back to that childlike aspect of yourselves again. I think that, you know, that would be really, really um, helpful on this journey. All in all, congratulations to those of you who have found new homes. Congratulations to those of you who have found a job um, that you're going to be moving into. I think that there's going to be abundance in all areas of your life. Just try not to get, you know, so wrapped up in your thoughts that you overthink, overanalyze it. Okay, and congratulations to all of you who have gone through all the hard work and you have stayed dedicated to what makes you happy. So new jobs, new relationships, you know, new homes, just new chapter all in all. Congratulations, you guys. You deserve it. I love you all so very much. If you're interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also, you guys, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this video. I really do appreciate it. It does help my channel grow, and we'll chat again tomorrow. Take care.